Okay, so I know there's a lot on the screen right now, but Safari responded to Nicki Minaj. Uh, she was on Funk Flex. Funk Flex asked her about Safari, then it went further. Then she let go of some information that she was holding back on for years. She didn't want to embarrass him, okay? But she said that, you know, he was stealing money, spending it on prostitutes, allegedly. We have to say allegedly. And, you know, he was just stepping out and she... She, he just got caught, okay? He wouldn't appreciate being down with her. She said he begged to come with her to Atlanta. She brought him. He should have been thankful she introduced him to the world, yet uh, he backstabbed her. So that's why she reacted the way she did. So let me walk you through this because there's, there's a lot going on here, okay? So uh, where did it all start? She said, uh, Shakira and I had a bet that as soon as Meek was about to come home, you'd crawl back and you did. Came to my house crying. Joyce was there. My whole glam was there. Left who? You getting aired out by Queen Radio 2 Thursday. Apologize and shut the hell up. So basically, and, and she's going to bring some attention to Queen Radio, which is good. Okay, but anyways, uh, I guess this is from years ago when Meek and her first got together and Meek came home the first time. Then she said, you stole my card and you told me uh, you thought it was an account with free money that I didn't know about. Uh, then she said, God will strike you down for more for lying. Ha, stop. Uh, you packed and you left. Uh, you came to my house crying because you wanted to go to Europe with me to the EMAs. I said, no. Uh, she said, woo, chill. Queens Radio going to be crazy. Then uh, Charlamagne said, I know you see me texting your phone, bruh. Answer my damn question. How much do you pay for the hairline? Because Nikki started exposing that uh, I should have never paid for that hairline. Uh, it fell out because God don't like ugly. You used me and God had other plans. She said, tag as shit ain't fall back out. Y'all went to the same doctor. Yours fell out because God don't like ugly. I don't know why she dragged Tyga into this. But uh, she said, I'm glad she's finally speaking. Oh, someone said, I'm glad she's finally speaking up is enough. Then uh, Nicki Minaj said it cost 10 racks, but Safari added, Charlamagne guys, it actually cost 12 racks for his hairline. <laughs> Safari said, how was I begging to go to Europe with you when you were a full-blown relationship towards the end of ours? I knew it was a wrap. Uh, I still have the email when you hit me saying, let's spend Christmas together and work things out, so please stop. She said, so what if DJ Envy and DJ Self support me? They support you too. I've been places and they play your music all the time. Stop letting your hate for me reflect on how you treat others. You hate me. I love you. I want you good. But I don't like you looking like you're losing it. You, you want to shut people up and go on Funk Flex and, and rap. No one goes to Funk Flex to do interviews. You're supposed to be up there doing this and she, she, he showed her him rapping so you know what i still don't have no hate for you because i'm happy in my own mind now enjoy your album dropping and stop letting these people see you sweat this ain't you you too big to act this way uh no one on your level acts like that period he said remember that night you cut me and i almost died and had to call the police and ambulance had to take me out of the crib, and I had to lie to them like I was trying to kill myself uh, so they wouldn't take you to jail. When things like that start happening, uh, that's, that's time for me to dip. Whoa. So I guess Nicki Minaj and him had a physical, but they've talked about that. And, Nick, and so far, he's always cried about, she was beating me. <laughs> uh, so, you know, Safari's like really dramatic, man. That's, all I, that's what I get from all this stuff. Then... Uh, Towards the end, it got toxic, and I just packed up and left. I did things for spite, and so did you. I don't wish, because she says that he said he was writing for her out of spite. Now, obviously, I know Nikki writes her own stuff. I've seen her write her own stuff, okay? And I knew Safari was the hype man, okay? So I knew he was lying. Uh, I've always thought that maybe he had a little inspiration there, but obviously a bunch of people chimed in and said he didn't even offer ideas. He was just literally the hype man. Um, and you always want to think someone offers a little more than just hype. Okay, so I don't need you, don't need me, but we will always be linked to the public no matter what. We know each other inside and out. Everything was okay for us. I don't use your car for prostitutes. We both didn't trust each other. You did shit, I did shit. You said you were messing with Meek a few years before. Oh, yeah. She also said she's going to get back with Meek or, like, alluded to that. 
I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea for either of them, Meek or her. I don't think they're too good to with each other. Meek drops is his best self by you know doing him. She's her best self without Meek. So, anyways, then uh, Safari said, "You hold on to everything. Your problem with DJ Self is because of me. Him and I are so cool, and nothing else. You have a problem with Mona Scott because she put me on a show. Uh, let all that stuff go. That one you gave me was uh, he, he had a pen for doing stuff with that credit card. I guess she gave him." Unless I really cared, I uh, still, I could not mention someone else's name and get me that riled up. How many times have I said I never wrote your raps? Nobody even talks about that anymore. Yes, they do. They just talked about it a few months ago. And she said, uh, bitch, you hit me and Meek asking for us to get your dick pic back from someone. Ha ha ha. You were playing with your dick in the shower by yourself with suds and shit. I have the email where you said you couldn't pay your electric bill. And you lied on me to go off. All right. Then uh, everyone's attacking DJ Envy for saying they're going to block Nicki Minaj up at Power 105. Jeez, oh, here we go. More Safari. It's about to be five whole years. There's no way I could hold on to something that long. You confront all you want. You're not happy. You talk about being uh, my it's about my big dick swinging in the show. Whoa, okay. Uh, at least y'all know I was trying to keep my noobs to myself now. Someone was trying to leak my dick pic for years and stuff. <laughs> oh, I can't even read that. First off, me and Taggart did not go to the same doctor. We did it the same day, different doctors. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> we did it the same day. I didn't even know Taggart's getting hair surgery the same day. I thought you were going to zen and cleanse your mind and your body. What kind of zen zoshery is going on here? Sorcery. Oh, okay. Uh, how was I begging to go to Europe with you when you want a full-blown relationship? Okay, we already read that one. This is just like, it won't stop. It keeps going. It just keeps going. It keeps going. <laughs> Jessica Dime even chimed and said, Yo, Nibi Ganache, what's crummy about VH1 checks? Damn, I love you, Nikki. But wasn't she just on Black Ink? All the money you spend and can't shit on our hustle. Everybody got to start somewhere, didn't she? Oh, my gosh. Well, guys, I think that Safari's being really dramatic. I think Nikki's finally responding to it because all Safari does is talk about her in interviews. Jessica Dime is looking to get in on this. Uh, I like Jessica Dime, but, you know, she's looking to get in on this. Let's just be honest. Safari... Eh, he's just defending himself, I guess, but still, he kind of brought this on himself. And, you know, Nikki's finally voicing her opinion on it. Now, her about her and Meek getting back together, obviously they're not too good for each other. Meek wasn't at his best when he was with her. She wasn't at, his, at her best when they you know, when they were together. And, you know, a lot of toxic stuff. You know, Meek started relapsing with drugs and all this stuff. It's not good. Probably not good for some people are just toxic for each other. I've had my relationships where you you know you get along and you think everything's good, but you're really toxic for each other. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys. Tell me what you guys think. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash that like button. It's very important. Very. Uh, we'll have to see what's going on. I hope you guys have a great day.